Hello, my name is Caroline Dunn, and in this video, I'll present the top five differences between Arduino and Raspberry Pi. If you are new to my channel, I produce new tech videos every week in IoT, smart home, voice assistance, and even 3D printing. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for weekly tech videos. Now, one of the most often asked questions I get is, which is better, Arduino or Raspberry Pi? Unfortunately, it's not quite that simple. Asking if Raspberry Pi or Arduino is better could be an apples to oranges comparison, and I'll delve into my top five differences between these two in this video. Now let's get started. Number one, let's start with pricing. The flagship Raspberry Pi is the Raspberry Pi 3 or Raspberry Pi 4, which start around $30 to $40 but it doesn't stop there. With your Raspberry Pi, you'll also need a micro SD card, a power supply, and perhaps a keyboard, mouse, and monitor. If you're a newbie to Raspberry Pi, expect to spend at least $80 on a base kit. On the low end, you could buy a Raspberry Pi Zero W for about $10 to $20, and on the high end, you could buy a Raspberry Pi 4 with eight gigabytes of RAM for $75. You can buy an Arduino Uno at Micro Center for about $10, but once again, if you're a newbie, I recommend purchasing a starter kit, which may cost $50 to $80. A starter kit for an Arduino Uno generally includes LEDs, resistors, sensors, and buttons, most of which I have also used with my Raspberry Pi. Now, if you are an absolute beginner, at the end of this video, I'll give you an option that is cheaper than both Arduino and Raspberry Pi. So stick around, or you could fast forward to the end of this video. I'll link down below to starter kits for both Raspberry Pi and Arduino Uno in the description field below. Number two, and this is the most fundamental difference between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. Raspberry Pi is a single board computer, SBC, while an Arduino is a board integrated development environment, AKA IDE. Single board computer means just that. The Raspberry Pi is a computer in and of itself running the Raspberry Pi operating system with an internet browser and lots of apps. On the other hand, an Arduino, you would write the code on your Windows or Mac computer, connect the Arduino via a USB cable, and then flash your code from your computer to the Arduino. The good news is that once you get the code loaded on your Arduino, it always works on boot. The Raspberry Pi, on the other hand, if there is a script you want to run every single time on boot, there is an extra step that you'll have to take. And speaking of code, that brings me to number three, programming languages. Now, there are a ton of exceptions to what I'm about to say, but generally speaking, on a Raspberry Pi, I'm usually coding in Python, while for an Arduino, I am coding for the Arduino IDE with the syntax for C or C++. On a Raspberry Pi, by default, in addition to Python, I could code in Java or JavaScript as well. On an Arduino, I code in C or C++ on the Arduino IDE. Then the IDE compiles the code and transfers it to the Arduino via USB cable. Now, there are ways to reconfigure your Arduino to interpret other languages, but it isn't exactly a default experience. Number four, once again, there are exceptions to the rule, but generally speaking, the Raspberry Pi has an internet connection while the Arduino does not. If you watch my other videos, you'll notice that my Raspberry Pi projects usually have a Wi-Fi component. Of course, there are exceptions. For example, if you need an Arduino with Wi-Fi, you can purchase an ESP8266 for between five and $10. And the fifth difference between Arduino and Raspberry Pi is memory. And Arduino comes with two kilobytes of RAM and 32 kilobytes of flash memory. While a Raspberry Pi has three gigabytes of RAM and storage is determined by the micro SD card I put in. I usually use about a 16 gig micro SD card for my Raspberry Pi. I did a project where I triggered playing music from a motion sensor on my Raspberry Pi. 
I looked into doing the same project on Arduino, but I didn't have enough memory to store the MP3 music files on my Arduino Uno, and I would have had to purchase an extra memory module to do the same project on Arduino. And one more difference that I'd be remiss if I didn't mention is the analog input. If you have a sensor such as this moisture sensor, it outputs an analog signal. The Arduino comes with analog inputs, but the Raspberry Pi does not. But I could purchase a separate analog to digital converter to read this input on my Raspberry Pi. This came into play when I was working on my bonsai tree watering project and I was measuring the soil moisture level. If you're interested in this project, I'll link to it below. In the end, it really depends on your application when deciding between a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino. I have both and I have produced video tutorials on this channel for both Arduino and Raspberry Pi. I will link to my tutorial videos in the description field below. Now, if you are a total newbie to technology and you're looking for the ultimate budget way to get started, I'd recommend something called the Microbit. A Microbit costs between $10 and $20 and you can get started immediately coding in Python or Scratch. If you're not familiar with Scratch, Scratch is a widely accepted visual programming language specifically for true beginners. Microbit comes with a small screen where you can see your output. Similar to the Arduino, you'll need a Mac or Windows computer to write your code and then load it onto your micro bit with the included micro USB cable. There are a ton of tutorials on their website, microbit.org for total beginners. I have even featured micro bit on my channel previously, and I'll link to those videos below. And those are the main differences between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.